<laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk about. <laughs> okay. No, let's. We change the mood a little bit. Okay. Let's talk about the new movie, mm -hmm. because it's a serious subject of the film, and we should address it with a degree of uh, gravitas. Uh, it's mm -hmm. called rendition, and that's a word which I was not familiar with before. I'm not sure if you were, but this is an actual uh, policy which uh, various governments around the world indulge in, including currently the United States government. Am I correct in that? Well, rendition was started by uh, the uh, U.S. government by the Clinton administration as a sort of form of taking suspected terrorists to another country without due process and essentially torturing them to get information from them. So they wouldn't do it on American soil because, of course, then there they, they would be repercussions. They right. would do it elsewhere. So essentially it was a kind of covert way, an underhand way of getting to do something. In which very is... special circumstances, and it has become used quite often. Now, once mm. again, this is a subject matter which I would have thought might be a little bit uh, tricky for people in Hollywood to, to approach. Is this a movie, an idea that's been around for a while, or is this very much a new project that just kind of happened and you all went with it? It just happened, and it was a really popular script when it came, you know, when it first came out, and then and everyone sort of jumped on board. It was, it was a quick from screen to from and, and script I, to screen. And Mel Streep is great in the movie. Uh, what well, weren't you offered the part first, and you turned well, it Well, Mel Streep's part, yeah, I, I get offered all her parts first. <laughs> You should have seen my, uh, my test for Devil Wears Prada. It was a <laughs> knockout. <laughs> um, have you, you haven't, did you get to meet her, though? Do you get to meet, even though you're not in scenes with these guys, do you get to meet them? And... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've met Meryl before. I, I've known Reese for a while. I've known, I knew Alan for, I, I knew them all. I just uh, never worked with them. It's a, well, it's a, a, well, there's a scene we're going to show, a clip we have, uh, in which you're talking to Meryl on the, the telephone, but I guess she wasn't on the telephone. You were... No. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are you laughing at me for this, huh? <laughs> It was sad for me. Yeah. <laughs> I was on Meryl's side, and then she wasn't on mine. But, but it was better that way. So when she called you, you were there. You were you were giving her. You were acting for her. I was acting for her. And when you called her, who did you? She was here doing Mamma Mia. She swam all the way. And yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like but did you have a? Did they even have a lady on the other end of the phone for you? At least pretending to be. They Meryl? had her and her takes on the other line. So I had her the, the takes that they chose. So you were acting against that. Okay. Yeah. This is going to ruin the whole scene for you now. Now you're going to be like <laughs> looking at it. Don't worry. They can they can make believe when they get to see it. <laughs> um, and it's uh, the, we should maybe set the story up a little bit before we show the clip. Okay. Uh, you, you're a young uh, guy working for the government, and you're kind of a little bit out of your depth here, aren't you, in this situation? Mm -hmm. uh, what else is happening? How else could we explain this? I'm a CIA analyst, and uh, I've been put into this position un unwillingly, and. Uh, I'm watching, observing the torture that's happening. Uh, and this is the torture of a guy who's been living in America for a long while and he's suspected of terrorism on pretty flimsy uh, uh, evidence. Yes, and this is the scene with Merrill, who is the sort of head of it all. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say, I, gotta say I, was I was waiting for a more colorful outfit from you. From I've disappointed you. Jay Turnbull there in rendition. Uh, now, that's your, your, you're in Marrakesh there? Or I'm in Marrakesh, you've... yeah, in, okay. in Morocco. In Morocco. Uh, and you filmed in Marrakesh. How, how did you enjoy that? What did you think of North Africa? It was fantastic. It's a great place. You should go. I've been. You have? Yeah, I've been uh, at least once. And did you like it? Not overly, but uh, I will go back. <laughs> and I, will your recommend. I quite liked it. I found the people very friendly and the tea very sweet. Very, 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 very well put. Yeah, and how did you find the food? Uh, intense after a while. Tangines can be a lot. And that's a tangine. And you eat them is, every day. It's like yeah. in a kind of a clay pot, isn't it? Yes. And it's rice and. Couscous. Couscous, couscous. and some sort of uh, meat. <laughs> yes. Couscous. Yes. yes. Okay. It's couscous and meat, lamb or chicken or, or beef or, you know. And how often did you have this, the delicacy? Almost every day. Oh. <laughs> so when you were flying back and they offered it you on the airline, you. you, you I, <laughs> Jonathan, I don't fly, I swim. Of course. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Jack, let me ask you a, a little bit about your family, because uh, your, your whole family seems to have been in the film business uh, since you were a kid. I guess your mum uh, wrote movies? I'm yes, right? my mum's a screenwriter. Yeah. Your father's a director? Yes. Your sister, of course, is a tremendously talented actress. Yes. And I know she's a married lady, but she's a, she's a hot patootie. Thank, thank you? Yeah, I think that's... <laughs> thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you hadn't gone into the film world, and it seems unlikely you would have gone into us, but what would you have done? Did you have uh, any other kind of career ideas or any other things that attracted you and excited you? Uh... I, lo I love to farm. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> you like, genuinely like to farm? The typical answer, I think, would have been that I would have become a professional swimmer, but I think I'm going to go with I was ready for swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> farm for me. There's three in a row I was going to uh, go with. Uh, before you go, uh, yeah. let me ask you a question on behalf of many of the ladies in the audience, and perhaps mm -hmm. the band as well here. Are you a single gentleman at the moment? <laughs> on, which, on behalf of which? The band or the ladies? <laughs>
Does it, does it with your career, does it matter, Jake? Uh, at this point, yes. On, uh, on behalf of the ladies, I'm single. On behalf of the band, I'm not. But I love the shirts. Well, I, can't oh, okay. Okay. I, I love them. Them. They look handsome in them, uh, and I don't think they do you justice. Uh, rendition here on the 19th. I'm telling you, it's a tremendous movie, and it's also it's a very clever film. They do something very clever uh, with the structure yes, of the film. Yes, there's a turn at the end, which we that's can't give that away. But it, surprise, it yeah. really, and it surprised me. And I just see movies all the time, so there's something in it, and I think it really works. Good. Great performance by you. Great performance by everyone in the yes, film. Definitely. I really like the Arab guy you're acting with in that. Yes, Igor, he's incredible. He's, he's, he is a, he has a tremendous given performance. Incredible performance. Yeah. Uh, I urge you to go and see it. But join me now in saying thank you to joining us this evening, Mr. Jake Gyllenhaal. Thank you.